Sadaifin, and I managed to get this MacBook um, rechargeable battery. It says 55 watt hours, 10.8 volts. Um, model is here that I'll put up a picture actually. So, yeah, and uh, this is how the back of it looks. Seems to be some kind of pad where the laptop sits down. The indicator bit scraped up and then there's some hex screws on the side this side and that side so let's open it have a look inside see how they've made this this is clearly not 18650 batteries since it does not have the thickness does not have the form factor but again it's mac so you know what do you expect are they going to do anything sensible probably not a while ago i bought this really 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 crappy set this is completely rounded almost now, having taken out those screws for about 2 years. But the fact is, I got those screws out, didn't have to drill and fight. So, 2 years, yes, it was worth it, even though it's crap and probably cannot be used again. But, yep, yeah, moral of the story is sometimes you need to buy crappy tools when you need to use them once. Wouldn't you believe it? Generic, typical little generic looking batteries. Um, and six of them three by three so makes sense for it to be three batteries but then they what they've done is they've put these in parallel so it's two parallel two parallel two parallel by three gets you the 10.8 volts and gets you a higher capacity as i said couldn't be 18650s we knew this these are little batteries for little projects i like it now what i need to do is figure out how i am going to get these things charged if i can put it in an ordinary charge and all proper charge control but hey Nice little batteries. Um, definitely gonna have to look out for more of these. I'm gonna pull up this number and see if I get any information on it. But at 55 watt hours rating, 10.8 volts, each one of these stacks is 5 ampere hours, which means 2500 per battery. That sounds reasonable given the size and everything else. It seems reasonable. And uh, if there's one thing, while I don't like some things in Apple, I don't think they lie about these kinds of things. I hope you don't lie about these kinds of things. A safe technique of sticking wires and pins arbitrarily all over the place. Let's have a look at the voltages. Um, online I'm able to tell that that was ground. I wasn't sure it was connected through, but have a look. If we go on to this, 2.99 volts, 3 volts let's say. Let's go on this positive, 6 volts. If we go on this one, 9 volts. So these are all giving three right now and we're getting nine volts um now the, tech, the question is can i just connect 12 volts over it now let me see i think that's the positive let's try it out haven't tested that that positive does not connect direct but if this is wrong this is nine i can connect it here i can run from ground to there and possibly run 12 volts over this i do not have a 3s charge controller right so this is going to be interesting question is whether you should really just import one and not do this and deal with that then or just stick around with it and we'll put the goods here put 12 volts here and see what happens at the end of the day 4.2 volts is the maximum that you would really want to put into uh the gemayan uh the thing about it is well 12 volts 3s it really should be 12.6 so ready at max i can put in four volts the question is how much c i can i put in am i going to put too much power in because if i use a computer power supply yeah it's going to have way more capacity to deliver than these cells may have capacity to receive don't really know uh maybe i should just put this down and get a charge controller maybe we'll see if you don't hear from me well maybe i tried it and uh, maybe the lithium ions didn't like it and took revenge.